Hello Bits Brew, this is Craig from bitsbox.co.uk and I am joined by Katie. Hi guys! So this is a special episode of the Hobby School series where we're going to look at contrast paints and just play around with contrast paints. So um, we haven't really used them a great deal when we filmed so this. so looking forward to this. <laughs> so yeah, um, so sit back and enjoy but before we begin, as always if you are new to the channel and you like all things hobby related then do feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And we just want to give a massive shout out and a huge thank you to all of our patrons who help support the channel. And if you want to know what our patron is all about, there is a link down below in the description. So yeah, we're going to go to the desks and we're going to play around with some contrast paint. Yeah, so throughout this video we'll switch between mine and Katie's desks. And my Katie's got a load of Nighthorn. I've got a few random stuff. Um, there's an Iden F there. Nighthorn. I've got a couple of free guild guys I might have a go with, we'll see. Um, but the car scheme I've been playing around with for Nighthorn and I'm going to show that off. So we've got some purples and pinks, there's Magus purple, uh, it? Magus purple, uh, Volopus pink and there should also be, if I, haven't I can it. find it, <laughs> Shish purple. It's like dark purple. So, um, if you need any purples, just no, I shouldn't need purples. I was gonna. Well, I'm thinking of going like a purple down to a pink sort of gradient. That sounds cool. I was gonna go for kind of reds. I think for one of them. At oh, least. nice. Yeah, it's a little idea reds. I've had playing in my head for a while, but uh, I can't remember which blue was this I used. That, that, that would have been yeah. Yeah. What's that one called? Uh, the Athematic Blue? Athematic Blue, yeah. yeah, that's quite a nice sort nice of ethereal looking thing. I might use that on the flesh on these guys. Um, so when you do sort of um, gradients of colour with contrast paints, you've got to start with the lightest, because the light paints will not cover over the dark. But it's fine the other way around. So I haven't actually tried doing it this way. So I apologise if it comes out awful. Um, we'll go up to about in there. I'll get some on his hand. I don't really want it on his hand. Um, so it's all like the lower third is going to be this sort of pink colour, which is quite nice pink. Can see that all right, and then these take a little while to dry. So while it's still wet, I'm gonna need to give this one a shake. They do separate quite easily. These paints. I noticed that. I had to shake them for like quite a while. Yeah, so definitely give them a good old shake. Now I don't think I've used this purple before, so I don't know what it's like. Um, well, it seems quite nice. And I'm just sort of overlapping slightly, so you can see that sort of gives. Pretty good blend, really. Um, between it'll be interesting to see between this and the the darker purple, but always drag it up. Sorry, my hand gets in the way, but drag it up from the light colour. And um, there's not a great deal of difference between these two by the looks of it in terms of shade, which is probably why the transition's pretty good. Soon see a difference once we get onto the Shaish purple. Because this is a lot darker. You can see it's a lot darker. Um, I probably won't get much of a transition here. I could try doing like a two brush blend, but I fear this is so much darker it might just overpower the previous colour of it. But I'll try, I'll try to see what it looks like putting the lighter colour over. See if it does make any difference. So just painting it over normally. I'm not really going for neatness here because um, it's just for a test. But if I go back to the Magus purple and then try sort of dragging that up and there. That kind of works. 
it's still quite a big sort of difference in colours, but these paints do sort of blend okay, but they tend to sit on the surface more than um, regular paints. But that doesn't look too bad actually, just for a quick little jobby. You can see it okay. I'll probably brighten this up in post so. It always looks really good on our camera screen, but not very good on the laptop screen. But whether that's just for laptop, I don't know. Um, but too bad you can see it sort of pulls up a bit in areas. I quite like that. Isn't it? Yeah, that's good. I like that. So we're going to switch over to. Blend quite nicely. We're going to switch over to Katie's desk. Mine definitely won't look as good as that. <laughs> So is that the aphromatic? Yeah, I had to try it. I really like my blues. So just a very simple scheme to it's start really, with. It's really good for night haunting, isn't it? Like, it's so good. I actually yeah. done um, another one in this colour. I don't know if you'll be able to see on the camera if I hold them. Which way? There we go. Nope. Down a bit. Hey. Nope. <laughs> Trying to do everything quite. sort of backwards, aren't you? Just mind you don't knock the pot over. Yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> I can't really get them in shot. Because I'm a bit cack handed, but. You could just put them. Yeah, um, yeah, there you go. I'm still struggling, but one's on the. Oh, one's the spray? Wraith Bone and one's bone gray the other one. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, it's quite, yeah it's it quite has good actually to show got the a difference. That's why I tr attempted to hang, uh, hold them up, but yeah, it's not bad actually. Yeah. I might find it easier not to look at the laptop I and know. just sort of look at the camera because that does make you go. Because of everything sort of backwards, it makes you go a bit funny, <laughs> way, doesn't it? Um, yeah, there's not... there's a few greys, isn't there? Yeah, I'm tempted Griff to try the Charger Grey Apothecary White as well. It looks kind of grey, but yeah, it's just for the shadow. I think. I want to take some Griff Charger Grey for mm. the gravestone. Oh, it's mm. very. Well, it's very sort of bluey grey. All right. We'll see what that looks like. Looks nice. Um. Whilst I apply that, okay, it's not. That because I would like. I'll show you guys in a sec once I've applied some. It's almost like. I was going to say it's almost like purple, but there's probably a little bit of purple still on the brush. Or it's probably sort of bleeding in off the um, other thing, but that looks kind of cool actually. It's quite nice to actually mix some of the greys with like a colour mm. and see what you get. Oh, that's nice. That's kind of purpley. Yeah, I think a little bit of the purple might have just brushed off onto it, but it actually does <laughs> look pretty really nice. That looks really nice. But the colour itself, by default, seems to be sort of a bluey purpley anyway. Like if you, I mean, if you look in, look in there, you can see it's very sort of blue, isn't it? That is definitely blue in the pot. <laughs> yeah. But I think it mixes nicely with the purple if it was on the well, brush. It does look actually, good. I don't want to put any on the base, but. Oh, I'm going to have to repaint the base later. I'll probably just apply some straight out of the pot onto the base. Oh, um, silver. Switch back to mine. You can see, um, hopefully you can see on the camera that that's got a sort of blue tint to it, and that's what it looks like on the gravestone. Steel. Hmm. Here that's quite nice. It's fun trying all these different colours. Um, a lot of these we're both using for the first time. I've used some of them, but... I'm trying to sort of use ones that I haven't used so much. Um, Space Wolf Square I haven't used. I'm going to try it just on the metal bit of the um, mace. Obviously it's going to be a very bluey grey, being Space Wolves, but... Now I'm not a massive fan of using um, contrast paints for metallics. But it's just a test match here. You can see it's very sort of bluey grey. Of course, if I end up doing night haunt schemes that I like, I'm going to be even more tempted by them. <laughs> um, and doing really well to hold off getting an army of them. Get the black coat. <laughs> yeah. Love a black coat. Yeah, I do. I've been tempted by it for absolutely months now. Nice. So, I think Katie's painting some metallics. Yeah, I'm just using lead belcher just to do the sword. And then I did do... Um, actually, I might as well show you because that came out so nice. Um, the sword. That's it. Almost. No. I will Towards get the hang of it. That's it. There we go. And <laughs> um, that was the Grey Knight Steel. 
and it's mm. it's got that lovely blue tinge to it, and oh, I absolutely love it. Yeah, so Grey Note Steel. If you've seen my video of the non crap contrast paints, there's one of the new metallics from GW, and it is just gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. It's a really nice colour, and um, I used it for the armour for Pike. Yeah, that came which, out um, really well. By the time this goes out, people will have seen that video. So I'm going to look at my. No, I'm going to leave that to dry. I'm going to do a red now. Deepkin guy. I'm going to grab one of my original ones and see if I can sort of replicate oh, that deepkin. colour. Uh, I think I'm going to try it over the bone colour. Right. Which one? I'm going to go for Flash Terrors red and see what happens. This will be interesting because I've not yeah, actually, I've used, not the actually reds. used the flesh terror. Oh, okay, that is a gorgeous red. <laughs> that yeah, is that's really nice. stunning. <laughs> a red knight wow. one army would be quite striking on the table, definitely. Yeah, it'd definitely be different as well. Yeah. Wow, that's actually really striking, isn't it? Yeah. It seems to, um, you know, how it sits on the surface and goes kind of. Yeah. Funny round there. It's sitting kind of weird, but if you go over it a couple of times, it does go on nicely. I'm going to steal your. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Aphomatic blue. Oh, this is so bright, it's gorgeous. Because it's very similar to how I've got the skin for my Deepkin. It's saving so much time just to paint this on my Deepkin's <laughs> skin and doing it the way I've done before. But my Deepkin army, their main armour was like a wash over a white undercoat. So it's a similar sort of method. That sounds nice. I don't think I've seen your Deepkin much. I'll have to have a look. <laughs> yeah, well there's... um. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, I'll, sh I'll show you. That, that was the skin I, I like, especially on that. Yeah, so, that's, so obviously um, I'll show the viewers that in a minute, but I'm quite drawn to your red at the moment. It is just so bright. I'm trying to get it to sit because yeah. it still keeps pooling a bit. But I'm not sure if the camera even does it justice. No, actually, looking on the PC, certainly you doesn't really on the laptop. can't see yeah, certainly how doesn't on the bright laptop, that is. But, um, hopefully you're on the, cam the camera's picking it up. That's very bright. Ooh. I, I think maybe a bit of contrast wow. medium on this flesh would give it a bit of a more closer to the um, original tone, but I still quite like this. So some variation in the shades of blue in the skin would be quite cool. But I think I am um, dry brush white over it, which I think if I was to do that on this, that would that would probably be almost there. So just switch them back. So this is my um, original deep kin, and I've gone for a that that aphomatic blue on the flesh. You can see it's quite similar. If I had like a dry brush of white or a full and grey, that would pretty much be there. Just trying to replicate the armor, which is going to be interesting. Now we do have a couple of yellows. Oh, that's not sure. Maybe I'll just stick some little bits on the base to see. So I've got Nasdreg yellow, and then. Um, That's what that looks like. See, it's a bit darker than what I want, but I'm wondering or worrying that and this other one is going to be too sort of yellow. Still, I haven't got to get it exact. I'll never get them painted if I don't if you start using contrast on them. That's very sort of yellow. So that's so. Eand and yellow is definitely too bright. 
So I'm going to try the NAS drag. I quite like it though, it has a colour. Looks really nice. Again, a white highlight. Maybe it'd be worth me when I paint these. Paint the yellow, paint the skin, and then just go to town with a big white dry brush. <laughs> I'm so happy with how this has come out. Yeah, let's switch back and have a it's, look. Um, it's been messy, actually, but um, it's coming out nicely. But it's just a shame the lap uh, on the screen, it just doesn't give it justice. Yeah, and um, the laptop screen is just that yeah. good. Though if you were to look on your camera screen, you, it would look a yeah. lot brighter, because mine do. I can never remember how to actually <laughs> look on YouTube, but I'll probably brighten them up in post yeah. anyway. But yeah, I don't think yeah. even after brightening up, I probably won't do it just as to how bright no. that is. That's really nice. That is just a stunning red. I'm so glad I, I chose that one and mm. not the other one, actually. I've just done, done it very messily. <laughs> yeah, it's just a test minute. Yeah. It's just test minutes, isn't it? Um, so I use quite a dark sort of turquoise for the cloth areas. I might look into that in a minute. Quite happy because the um, grey knight steel would actually be really good for the metallic areas on these guys as well. Oh crikey, yeah, that looks so good. Oops. Are you red? Oh, I've actually got the tassel-y bits are actually red, so I might be stealing. Oh more nice. Red for, <laughs> well, I'm just about done with it. Them. Yeah, I've got to do the blue first anyway. Yeah, an army of red night horn. That'd be so cool. Whoops. Yeah, that'd be very striking on the table. Because I think with metallics on here, I may have even washed them blue to give them a bit of that, a bit of that nautical feel. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to switch to one of the turquoises because there's some really lovely turquoise colours. Um, this Achelian green. Yeah, I've been meaning to try that one out as well. Really nice. Hmm. I'm just sport for choice. I don't. I know. We've got the whole. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> we've got the whole range in front of us. Yeah. Although that's um, quite. I don't know. It's so nice though. It's not. It's not like what I. Oh wow. It's not I what like I it. had on my other ones, but I like this so much better. Yeah. Um, it's more green than turquoisey though. Um, I must be thinking of another one. But um, I don't care because I really like it. It looks so good. <laughs> yeah, switch back and they got to see that. That's, I mean, again, that might not do it justice on camera, but I really like that a lot. Um, if you want to go it. more turquoisey. Yeah. Oh, that's orc flesh. I haven't tried that. <laughs> Bead camo. There's pterodon turquoise. Yep. Which is quite nice. I, don't, I haven't tried Leviathan Blue. It's quite dark by the looks of it. Yeah. It's tempting to try it. Black Angel's Green, Creed Camo. Um, obviously, um, the Aphromatic Blue sort of quite turquoisey and there, but yeah, Terrible Turquoise. Yeah, I think I'm nice. gonna. Maybe I'll try these two. Find so, <laughs> you've that got is... the Talisar Blue, which is lovely, and yep. Leviadon Blue. Leviadon Blue. Yeah, nice. I haven't used that yet. I think it's going to be pretty dark, but it's Nighthorn, so. <laughs> yeah, so. Let's have a go. We'll switch back to you in a sec. Yeah. We were going to try and get sort of a camera side by side, <laughs> but that didn't really go to plan. It looked a bit rubbish. So we're going to switch back to Katie and she'll show you 
what she's now going to do. Okay. Yeah, so that's actually really nice. It's a, it's very, very dark, but I think it actually suits them quite a lot. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it fits quite nicely. It's very sinister anyway. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you can actually see that. But it's actually come out kind of how I imagined just by, by looking at it. So it's really dark, but... <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's very dark, and that's sort it's of like night lord, and night lord, night lord, <laughs> yeah. night lord sort of blue. It's very nice, though, definitely. They also pool quite a lot. I've noticed yeah. in certain places, especially. Yeah, they're essentially like a thick wash, yeah. aren't they? Um, in some cases, that's nice. Yeah, on one of the ones I'd done the other day, I noticed a minute ago, um, it's pulled like right around the bottom bit near the base. Yeah. Which I'm not too happy with, but it's only a little bit, luckily, so. <laughs> Have I, am. Um... Hmm? That's just quite interesting because um, that was my front. Maybe I had yeah. some yellow mixed in because that's my back. Oh, so wow! So the back is like way more turquoisey. <laughs> um, okay, that's so cool. So maybe, cool. maybe I must have some yellow on my brush when I did that. I they mix so but well I, in that yeah. case. Yeah, <laughs> that actually looks really nice though, that green. But um, that's not what I was going for. No, I like that's, the one on the that's back. Lush, isn't that's it? gorgeous. So what I'll do is oh I'll get God. some grey here and neaten it up and go goes the same on the back. So what colour was that you used? That's Achelian green. Um, Achelian green. So yeah, um, don't be wow. like me and actually, see it still looks quite dark there, I'll yeah. put it on the base. Oh no, I'll put it on the base, um, just show everyone. Oh so it's it is that colour? It is basically yeah. turquoise, yeah. That's so nice. So um, it doesn't actually go on like that green, I must have had some yellow on the brush and not realised. Um, I've done that twice now with a couple of colours, <laughs> but it's very nice turquoise though. So yeah, um, if you do ever make mistakes with these, just grey here, get the base paint, go back over and then do it again. And that's gorgeous actually. Now they do have turquoise on their trousers as well, but a different shade. So I'm going to steal <laughs> the pterodon turquoise. Now I think, really I should have had the darker turquoise, because I think this is going to be darker. Yeah, I should have had the darker turquoise on the robes and the lighter turquoise on the legs. But Hey ho. We shall try it the other way. So this is a bit more green. Um you get it in shot and you'll see. Yeah, it's not a massive difference between the two. So I'm not a massive fan of that. I might actually just use the actual um, I believe I used the Thousand Suns blue to paint them, so I probably would just use that again because it's not a lot more bluey. I don't, not a massive fan of like the Ultramarines blue. Not a fan of that at all because it's um very sort of muted the Ultramarines blue, so that wouldn't be no good for this. Mm. I'm gonna steal your red. Was that Flesh Terrors red you used? That was yes. Yeah, I think I've decided this is too dark, I think, for a proper night haunt scheme that um Levard on blue. But it is so nice all the same. <laughs> yeah, I mean well you can have dark night haunt, but if you go oh, for a more ethereal yeah, type thing. 
It probably would get a bit boring. I'm just partial yeah. to um, turquoise. <laughs> yeah, oh, you can't beat it, can you? Yeah, feel free to play with the... Um, the Akalian Green was a nice one. Yeah, I'm going to try that one next. Actually, you put that over the grey, didn't you? I'll be putting it over... Um, yeah, well, that'd be interesting room. to see the difference. Yeah, though. let's do it. What do you think of the red? <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> so good. I think these paints work really well for like tassels and things like that as well. Yeah. Um, tell you what, it did work well for the feathers on the um on the other guys. Yeah. Oh, that's stunning. Yeah, I'm not too sure what to do about the um legs and that. So that's about all I'm using on contrast on this guy, the rest is going to be metallics and black. First put him to one side, we'll go and switch back to see what Katie's up to. With it's so pretty. <laughs> Again, it just doesn't do it justice. These are so... It's just another one of them really bright colours that yeah. you just think, oh, gorgeous. Wait, wait till you see these feathers I'm about to do. Um, if I can find the colour. I'll be there oh, yeah, somewhere. It's, it's hiding behind the cup. So I'm going to use um, Warp Lightning. Colour is that? Oh, it's bright green. Yeah, nice. it is a bright green. So yeah, it works really well on feathers. I'm thinking I might try and mix a yellow with the green on another feather, see if I can get some sort of like transition from dark Ooh, to light. Ooh, nice. You yeah, haven't actually mixed any of my colours yet. No, because they take a while to dry, so it gives you a bit yeah. of time to play about with them. But So yeah, that looks really nice. <laughs> it's so pretty doesn't look too different I don't think I don't think the there's gray. a massive difference um between okay. the two oh no there isn't actually certain colors might have a yeah. bit more of a difference but um I'm watching the pot don't worry I've only ever knocked it once <laughs> so yeah if you look on like the tabard and the yeah you can't actually not a massive see difference, much difference there? really no they probably come out a little bit more muted on the bone, I would yeah. assume, but certain colours are probably just too strong. Yeah, I really got to paint them legs differently. Um, Sorry, I love the way you keep telling me, watch the pot. <laughs> he knows how dangerous I am. Oh yeah, if anyone's going to spill a pot, that would be you. That would be me. I mean, the things I've dropped this week is just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's what the feather looks like, nice and bright. But I think we can take that up a step with some my end and yellow. So I'm going to go on the other one and take the and and yellow, just paint it over the whole feather. Now this is just a complete theory, I have no idea how it's going to work, it might look awful. So if it does, then I apologise. So I'm thinking we can go from a yellow to a green, that should give us a nice bright green as well. And of course, once these dry, you can go over with another layer, a couple of layers, and you still get a good the effect. And um, once you start going even more, they will start going a bit flat. And um, we'll start dark at this end. So we'll start from the darkest end. That's and actually an idea. Going. I might go over that um, gold does, one I done. It does really um, overpower that yellow. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if I'm coming with another brush. Bring some of that yellow up. Try and get a lot of light green in the middle. Not really um, doing it too much, but I put a bit more yellow on the brush. That's a bit better, that gives us a bit more of a 
lighter green there so you can kind of see hopefully you can see there's sort of a lighter green going into a darker green so all, all the way down to that yellow I'll try on the other side that's just mainly the yellow but we can sort of go with a light green so I mean you could do it like that you could mix both colors go over it then go to the other color so it's pure of the warp lightning now and sort of do it like that it doesn't give you as much of a transition but it does go up the colors you can put a bit more on the end there oh not too bad I mean for something that took 30 seconds you know these paints are all about sort of good results fast um, rather than sort of amazing results I mean don't get me wrong I'm sure you could get some really great results as well but you'd be um, taking your time with them to do that you could use them essentially like glazers definitely but if you want some simple little transitions you just whip them up very quickly and I'm still working on trying to do like power weapons with these sort of in a quick and easy fashion I sort of got one didn't look too bad but I'll sort of perfect it before I do a video on that because it can be done so about half hour in we didn't want to sort of go over an hour with this video and um, we've only got about 20 minutes of our day left anyway <laughs> but probably a nice video just to sit down relax show off some contrast paints I know everyone else has basically done videos on contrast paints by now but nice to just play around with them I love that Akelian green that is lovely isn't it that is so good such a good colour actually for Nighthorn I love it uh, yeah I can't remember what colour it was that I went over this gold with I was just going to give it another coat perhaps so you went over the gold with Talisar, Talisar blue. blue right so I don't know if you've shown people that effect um, that's I haven't, quite no. nice so that is my well I just done them in gold first and then you can see it gives a sort of iridescent kind of effect but I'm going to try and go over it a bit more because uh, you actually you can see a bit on camera there's lots of gold still showing through so I'll, I'll give it another coat and see what happened I can only try just worried I'll be too dark but I know actually I'm quite happy with how this start to turn out. Yeah, I'm more happy with that with the second coat. <laughs> Looks so much better. Nice. Yeah, no need to worry. <laughs> I'm playing around with like the turquoise on the base. I'm thinking of um. Oh, nice. That's cool, actually. If yeah. I do end up doing a night haunts army, I'll do like a turquoisey base. Mm. I'm still not sure what colour to do their flesh because on a uh, previous one I t test painted. Yeah. I had yellow, but I didn't really like it because obviously it <laughs> contrasts really well with the purple. Yeah. But it just didn't look right. Mm. So I've gone with the ethereal looking um, aphromatic blue this time. Um. Ideally, I'd have gone over with Grace here first, but as it's just a mess about, I didn't bother. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's tough. At the same time, I'm wondering whether like a really dark colour might work. I don't know. I really need to just get a load of these and just play around <laughs> with loads of different things. Um, but the turquoise base with the sort of purple works really well and they're yeah. quite striking and um, this is just painted straight on if we just switch back yeah Put glass on so I can see <laughs> um, yeah it's just painted straight on the base 
but I'm thinking I'm going to try and make some sort of scenic faces and then use this over it to see what they look like and that could be quite interesting and maybe sort of show contrast over some different textures as well rather than just over That'd be plain cool. yeah. plastic so Love that's to do something that. I'm going to play around with and maybe do a video on in the future I think it's some really funky interesting looking bases oh that is so much better I also want to play around with it on terrain as well <gasps> yeah terrain would be really good actually I think yeah. for contrast paints And that's two coats. That is with two coats. And it's yeah. still got like the shine, hasn't it? So. Yeah, it's still iridescent, which is really yeah. good. It, it's just covered those goldy parts up, so now it's sort of more kind of how I envisioned it. So I'm only sort of thinking I might try that. And yeah. then maybe add like another colour in there, so to try and, you know, saying about iridescent, mm. but like. Imagine if it could hit the light in certain parts and have like Ooh, a purple yeah. or something. I don't know how you'd nice. achieve that. But that would certainly be something to yeah. experiment with. Yeah, I'm super happy with that. I'll dry for a minute. Not sure I have time to whip one up, but. Actually, what colour was that? Oh, that was on um, the grey base as well. Yeah. So. What can I do? I'll decide what base colour I prefer, really, out of the spray paints. Um, personally, I prefer the grey here. Yeah. Well, I do find the, the Wraith Bone covers a bit better. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree, I think. Um, obviously, when you're going over gold, it makes no difference, which is nice. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, now that's dry, that's quite a sinister kind of... It's almost got a purpley kind of... Can't keep going out of shot, but kind of purpley when that dries that um really dark one i used a minute ago so yeah not bad actually now that's what i was going to play around with the browns yeah so there's some really nice browns yeah um snake white leather is really nice does it come out kind of pale that, dark that is a lighter medium. one if you want a dark one the wildwood i think it's called is really nice Try snake bite leather. Yeah, snake bite leather's gorgeous. Actually, I can see that's quite light. I like. I prefer yeah. lighter browns. Okay. I think. I haven't tried all of them yet. Try I haven't tried like the dark oak flesh or the um, mm. fire slayer flesh either. Cygol brown's a dark one. Gorgon of fair I haven't tried. Yeah, so it's quite a nice. Yeah, that's quite nice actually. It's quite nice for wood actually. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna because I've got some silver enough trees. I think I'm gonna paint them up with contrast paints and maybe go really bright on the leaves and. That's exactly what I was gonna wood. do. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's actually come out quite nicely. Yeah, I quite like yeah. snake bite leather. Yeah, I've had one. um put that on a couple other ones actually. So I'm just waiting for some gold to dry. <laughs> yeah, one thing I am struggling with with these paints, which is exactly well, okay. that's a struggle with, is keeping it neat. But then it could be the fact I'm using a, probably a larger brush than I should be using. But it's tempting to go with a larger brush because yeah, they're sort of they're so similar to shades. But yeah, I see. So normally I'm too bad with shading, but then I think in other videos I have used a smaller brush. <laughs> I'm quite happy with that actually. And there. Uh, what other ones have I done? Tempted to do that big fork metallic maybe. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. I didn't have a plan, so <laughs> jumped straight in. So I don't know whether to apply the other colour. Well, so what I've got here is I've done the similar thing to Katie. I've put the gold down and then the towel side blue over the top. Oh, what, what did you put on the top? On the thingy. Nice. I went, they weren't really dry at the bottom, so I didn't really apply much ah, right. down there, but at the top, you can sort of see. Right, I'm wondering whether to apply some sort of purple or something while it's still wet. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'm going to try. Putting that Achillean green over gold. Uh, have you got the Achillean green? <laughs> I shall pinch off you if so. Achillean. Yeah. I've got Terrell on top. Oh no, that's right, I found it. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, um, did I actually put any on my brush? I thought I did. Okay, I'm excited to see how this comes out. Yeah, no, I think it's going to work while it's still dry and that just sort of mixes in the colour, kind of dab it in maybe. I think that's just too overpowering that colour. I'm not sure I've got enough dry in time <laughs> before we have to end the video. Um, but it's quite humid today. I blow on it while I'm waiting for that. I do apologise if I was switching between the two cameras, it's <laughs> a bit annoying for some people. Okay, so now that's interesting. It actually comes out as a nice bright green over gold. Okay. Which is it's not actually that different to what I've done there, basically. But who knows? With another coat, perhaps. Also, I know an axe shouldn't be green, but <laughs> it's the best I could come up with. I'm going to play with my favourite Grey Knight Steel. So I'm just chucking colours in. <laughs> the yellow this went this o is like back over it quite nicely. I quite like where that's pooling up. So painting some grey night steel. It'll be interesting to see some colours over that actually. I love my grey night steel. Oh yeah. Oh, that's sad. I should have thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll have time to do that now. I mean, there's loads of things that we'll probably experiment oh, with and yeah. we can do little videos on in the future. Um, so this is what I've done on the the head of a weapon. Let's put my hand in there. I've sort of put in some Talisar blue, let that mostly dry. Then I've put some Eandon yellow on there and some Magos purple. It's a bit of a strange mess but it looks pretty sort of neat, something different. I won't do their weapons like this because I think they're normally just turn silver but it's quite cool. <laughs> There's always one. Okay so sorry guys. <laughs> we're back and um, while Katie was on the phone I was playing around with this even more and I've put some more Kelly and blue over and now I'm really starting to really like the effect. I, oh, I put a little bit of strange purple around the top but then I came back in with the Talisar blue and um, hopefully you can see that. Okay that's got some really nice where it sort of hits the sort of light. That's left a really nice effect. Took a little bit of work but I'm quite happy with that. That's what I've got now. Ooh, yes, that looks really nice with two coats, doesn't it? Yeah. It needs two coats, I think, for that effect. And there's a little bit of, sort of purple in there and some yellows mm. in there, but... I'll have to see what it looks like when they dry, but... It's nice. It actually kind of works on the deepkin weapons as well, so maybe I'll keep that... like that. And then see what's a bit of a mess on the back at the moment, so... I'll take some Talisar Blue.
come back in and you can see when the Talos Up Blue comes in just how much nicer that looks and we'll drag some of that Magos Purple down in there it's blue a little bit darker that's really cool it's a really nice effect so maybe I'll try that on the Deakin weapons yeah so I think we'll leave it there for one video so if there's anything that you would um, like to see us do or attempt to try with contrast paints or any other paints really um, please do leave a comment down below we're gonna do another season of the hobby school series in the next couple of months I'd imagine and we'll be looking at other techniques and more advanced techniques next time that'd be awesome but this is just like a little special playing around with contrast paints hope you guys have enjoyed it and we'll see you all again in the next video um, I'll just switch to just Katie just so just see where she sort of finished up so you've done some of the grey knight steel yeah yeah, I put the Grey Knight Steel on... I'll never get this right, will I? <laughs> on the guy with the candlestick yeah. trident thing. But um, it looks good. Eventually, I've put a little bit on the flames at the top. So in the next video, I'll go over them with one of the contrast paints. I can't decide yet. And see what the effect is. I was hoping for some like shiny blue flames, maybe. That would be quite cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's my red one as well. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, once again, thanks for watching, guys, and <laughs> thanks, guys. we will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.